All right, this video is going to walk you through how to find the equation of a parabola when given the vertex and another point that it passes through. The first thing you need to do when this looking at this problem is try to find out where your vertex is. That's the highest or lowest point the graph gets to. In this case here, our vertex is at negative 10, negative 8. So let's write that down. Vertex is at negative 10, negative 8. Then from there, you want to write the equation of a parabola as best you can, and you just won't know the stretch factor. So we'll write it out like this. y equals a x plus 10 squared uh, minus 8. Notice I said x plus 10 squared. Uh, we have to do the opposite of whatever the x value is in the actual vertex. So I, if it's negative 10 here, I wrote x plus 10. And then I kept the, the y part of the vertex the same in the equation as well. Then we have to find another per point that it passes through. In this case, it passes through the point 6 comma 16. With that in mind then, let's write the coordinate down as 6 being your x term and 16 being your y term. Then we'll substitute those values into the different letters that you see there. Um, and then write a new equation. So then it says 16 equals a 6 plus 10 squared uh, minus 8. What we want to do next is try to calculate this parentheses squared part. What does that equal? Well, 6 plus 10 is 16, and then 16 squared is going to give us 256. So the new equation is going to read uh, 16 equals 256a minus 8. Then from there, we need to solve for a. So we'll get rid of this negative 8 or this minus 8 first. So we'll add 8 to both sides. And then from there, we're going to uh, solve for a by getting this 256 out of here. Since it's being multiplied, we'll divide by 256 to both sides. And then at the end, this 24 over 256 then turns into the reduced fraction of 3 over 32. And then you'll take your 3 over 32 and put it in for a, and then you can write your equation. And then the equation then will read y equals 3 over 32 times x plus 10 squared minus 8. And that's it. Hopefully you can find your equation just as easy using the vertex and a point that it passes through. Good luck.